all right guys so um today i'm gonna be trying to get some more room for my attic here i got all this uh these boxes and stuff and we're just trying to make some room so i was like i have all this area here but it's just not really usable so what i did was took the measuring tape here and um, i measured about two feet from the this mark here to the trusses so it gives me about two feet and i'm just gonna i got uh, five um eight foot two by fours and then i took one piece of three quarter inch plywood or half inch plywood and had them uh, rip it at home depot so it's a four by eight and then put uh four uh one foot eight long uh strips of wood just so i can get up to my attic here through the hole um so now that i've measured and i measured here and here and so the, all these lines are uh, nice and level so now i'm just gonna take these two by fours here and attach them to the wood on this side i'm gonna create a nice level um, area so we can uh, run these boards across the top and open up our get a lot more um, space here so that's usable space and not just um yeah not so usable space so i'm gonna get this first board on here and we're just gonna go up here all right just be careful in the attic it's kind of dangerous now a lot of times wood in the attic it's super hard because it's just been up here drying so long it can be difficult to just drive a nail or a screw into it I like to use screws just because um, they're easier to remove if you need to. And I like the way they hold a little better than nails, but this is my preference. If you like nails, it's probably all right. So what I'm gonna do, get this first one on here. And if you got an extra pair of hands, that's nice. But if you don't, you got Mr quick grip here and these things are amazing for uh let's see I'm just balancing on a two by four here so a little tricky all right give me a buddy so we're gonna put this up here and get our quick grip it's gonna be our third hand here So I'm gonna make sure that's level first. Not only that it's level, but it's lined up with our mark here. Okay, so that's obviously a little bit off, but that's all right. I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit here. Just like that. Okay, now that's pretty perfect right there. I'm just going to tighten down this quick grip. Let me see. Hold really well actually. So there's that. Now one, I'm just going to screw. I'm probably just going to do three screws. Um, one, two, three. I don't need to hold a ton of weight here, but maybe I'll... I just want to get this first one in here. Got my repurposed screws here. Where'd my drill go? All right. And if you have an impact driver, are kind of nice. So I'm a little under the mark that I have, but I still have two feet on each side, so that's all right. Now we can set our uh, level up here. Take our quick grip off. 
and I'm gonna get this other one on here and with one screw in there we can now tilt the two by four a little bit that'll be our second like quick grip right there where we want it to be we can make it make sure this last part's uh, super level here so let's lock this in place here it needs to go up a little bit and right about come on tap it down that's perfect all right we're gonna tighten that up ain't going nowhere okay so i hope i left myself some room where i can actually screw into it it looks like it did so here we go right here and we'll get our screw here there we go looking good Let's do the same over here. Make sure we're all uh, square. Um, so this is the first one. I'm gonna do three more, actually four more just like this. And then um, I'll take it from there. So we'll pick it up and we'll get these other ones in. So you got the main idea. Quick grips are nice. Make sure we're level. Get your other one in here and we'll, we'll do um, five boards like that. So GoPro stop recording. All right guys, so the second board I know I was going to tell you I was going to do the same for all of them, but I wanted to just kind of show how I did this one. So I'm leveling off of that one to this one. That's level there. And then you want to make sure that you're level over here as well. So that's pretty perfect right there. And it's perfect over there. So. Um, now the lengths, I don't really care if I get too much over on that side because I'm not really using, I'm just using this one part right here. So, um, I might put boards, other boards on those, but for now, that's not really the plan. Um, huh, that might not be a bad idea, actually. Then I could run. Nope, you know what? I'm not going to second guess myself right now. So... <laughs> I got the plan already, so um, let's just put this one in right here. Uh, right about here should be all right. Another thing nice about uh, pre-drilling is um, that sometimes if you're just screwing in the screw, it can hit something and it's going to move it. And it might move the wood too, so. Okay. Make sure we're still pretty true here. Take that off. Okay. Pretty much we're just gonna get this one level here. in place and, all right and a little tip with the quick grips too i'll show you guys here in one second i'll get this one level here about there perfect all right sometimes these things are kind of finicky so you can push you can hold down this button this lever here and kind of push them down and also so mine, sometimes it won't tighten. Double check my level here. It won't tighten unless it's got some pressure on there. So I like to just kind of bend it sideways a little bit like that. So it's kind of pushing on it and then it'll start gripping. It's not, there's no tension there. Sometimes it doesn't seem to grip. So that'll help out, out there. All right, let's see where we're at. That's uh, pretty perfect. So. Uh, 
let's get this other screw in here. Gotta love impact drivers. So nice. Okay, so we got the second one in. I just wanna show you how I was leveling off of it. Make sure all your boards are level and level this way, level this way. So, okay, we'll be back. GoPro, stop recording. All right, my friends, we're on the fifth one here. Got it level this way and then got it level this way. So we're just gonna secure this final one here. So another tip with the quick grips is this one those level goes a little high. So you can just kind of kind of tap it down just a bit if you're off only by a little tiny bit, you know. Come here. Alright. We're almost through the hard part. Yeah. These are like repurposed uh, screws here from the garden. Okay. All right, let's get this one in. Good deal. Good deal. Coming along. All right. Get my light back a little bit here. Perfect. All right. Here's this last one. Can I quick be a score right about here? Gotta love the hammer drill. Okay, one more screw over here. I think I'm just, I'm just putting one in each one. One screw in each one. I don't think I need to do more than that. It's kind of overkill. I usually like to overbuild things, but sometimes it's not necessary. So we get this final screw in. We'll start laying these boards and we'll join you then. GoPro, stop recording. All right, my friends, here we are. I'm gonna be uh, sliding these boards over there now. So let's do that. So I cut these in one, one foot strip so I can get them up through the attic uh, hatch here. If I didn't do that, would have been kind of a chore. Look at that. I don't even need to screw these down. It's beautiful. I wish that was flush. I don't want to trim that off though. I probably won't put a whole lot of screws in these. Just a few to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. All right, two more. And look, that is looking nice. As far as so much more usable space. It's just uh, a lot better. Okay, so let's get these two over that other side there. Oh yeah, this is rock solid right now. Turn 
this one sideways. I mean, it's just a lot easier to work with when they're not eight foot long, you know? I mean, when they're not four feet wide, there's no way. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm super stoked. This one over here, and there we go. Get my light out of the way. Look at that, slick as a whistle. Like a rock. Make sure I get my tools. I'm just gonna put a couple screws maybe on the on the ends here, nothing, uh, nothing major. And now I have all this extra space. So let me go find some screws that'll, I don't need these super long ones. So I'll switch those out and bring some stuff down. And we'll get these going. GoPro stop recording. All right, here we go. The first one right here. I think I'm just going to put one there. one in each board I think call it good oopsie boodle okay can't believe the price of wood nowadays. I mean, used to be able to buy like a six foot two by four for a buck something not too long ago. Wow, that's doing special already. least go in uh, flush so slides but it's pretty pretty smooth wood here so pretty happy with that Pretty much see how this is going. Um, I'm just gonna finish up here and uh, get the stuff organized and show you how it looks. GoPro, stop recording. All right, guys. So here we have it. Um, you saw how it was before, just a ton of stuff everywhere, and now these files up here up front. I can move them wherever I want to. I've got my light in. Um, nice solid base i got room to expand if i want i can put two by fours on either side and put another shelf like this in between the joists and going out that way or whatever so that would be cool too um just look at all this stuff though able to store up out of the way you know old childhood clothes and whatever um stuff just accumulates probably best to get rid of it but um some extra boxes in case we need to return stuff old just a lot of room here um if you got stuff that you want to store away and you're throwing up in the attic anyways um it does get kind of warm in the attic so i'd be careful with that but if it's stuff that's not gonna get damaged by heat too bad not a bad way to go pretty happy with this um pull thing probably took me uh, hour and a half and it's just mostly just because trying to get the trying to get it level and screw it in without having help and uh, make sure everything was level was just pretty much the time consuming part but other than that it's uh, solid and turned pretty much unusable space 
I mean, you saw it before, just the joists and I had stuff thrown on, kind of balancing on them and stuff like that. So all this unusable space turned to a nice area where you guys can uh, and store your stuff. So um, also up kind of out of the way enough too. So if you need to run some wires or something, you can get in under there. And these are easy to take out. Just one screw in there in each board. So probably a little overkill, but uh anyway thought i'd share this video with you guys uh thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time gopro stop recording